Ah. How relaxing. Ah. Very nice. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to my Neverwinter Let's Play. Uh, I'm the Game Inspector 71, and I am here to continue my Let's Play of my Control Wizard. So, I left off in a... I wouldn't say a cliffhanger, more like a, a bit of an annoying time, because I, I had to. So, right now we are here at pretty much almost the final uh, boss of this particular lo location. And, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do... Oh, 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 crap. I completely forgot about that. And I missed it. That's okay. All right, we're injured now, which means that we'll take more damage and take less health. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use our little thingies over here and get rid of that. So, perfect. We also want to heal for the final boss, and there he is right there. So, yeah, let's go for him. Kragmar Deep Scar. I mean, I say that this is the final boss, he really isn't the final boss, he's more like the semi-boss, because the actual final boss of a location is always a dungeon, so... I'm gonna just do this just to stun him, and I'm gonna use this again, and I'm gonna just do this. There we go. And he's dead. Perfect. And these guys are still there. Which is fine. So yeah, he's dead. The key is control effects. I, I, I can easily tell that control effects are going to be the the savior of the day once you hit, reach higher levels with the control wizard. Freezing everyone to death and just dealing damage over and over. So yeah, so now here... I'm just being confused by the... I'm uh, a bit occupied by the, uh, the trade chat anyways. So let's do. Let's equip this new belt, which gives me a little bit more health. I do want more defense. Why did it say start recommended? Because it's higher level or something, or because it gives more? I don't know. It's probably for new players. When it says recommended, it might be easier for them to, you know, equip it. I guess. So here we have uh, recovery plus defense minus power, but that's okay. Uh, we also have an enchantment thingy on, which will be very useful. Uh, so what do you do with, with enchantments is you go over here uh, You can actually see okay. It's a defense slot for uh, it's a defense slot. No enchantments on So we will go here. We will might manage item enchantments go to the defense one and so defense will simply give me more health, okay? So and there we go So that's how you basically input enchantments and also if you want to remove them you can go again to manage enchantments select it and then uh, remove enchantment, which will cost, I think, coins or something. It'll cost gold or something. Or you can level it up, or you can just destroy it. I don't know if it'll destroy the item itself in progress. I've never actually tried to destroy it, because I always remove them. Um, but anyways. So, this will be it. And, so that's, yeah, pretty much it. So, next. I do want that power, though. <laughs> anyways. I'm taking damage. Oh, because I gave health. <laughs> Because I, I, I increased my health, so it's it's like I'm taking damage because I, I got a little bit more health. So, let's see here. Return, return, return. Yeah, we can return. So, yeah. This is a about... I would say this is the um, the last boss of this particular location when before you can actually leave. So, we'll just take our secret little shortcut just to avoid all the random encounters and go straight to where we need to complete the quest. So we'll go here, go to you, thank you very much. Uh, tremble in the ranks, now we report back to the Enclave, and there's also the Clock Tower. Yes, yes, yes. The final boss. So yeah, this the Clock Tower will require a group to complete, so I might do that in a. Um, I might do that in in, in a bit. Not right, not right now. What I want to do right now is I want to go to. Okay, what I can do is. Okay, first things first. How about we just remove some items from my inventory? 
Yeah, critical and defense. That's um, uh, okay. That increases. That's so that's good. This one, it's um, armor penetration. Uh, I like defense, so I'll remove this. We'll sell the red ones first. Then we'll sell the ones that don't have any enchantments on. We'll sell the treasures, of course. Right, any enchantments? I don't need to sell those. Uh, I have two of these. Okay. I'm gonna just sell the ones that I don't need. Don't need this or this or this treasure. We can sell that. Armor penetration, we can sell this, we can sell this. This will go to my companion. Um, and I have a friend request from someone that I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Um, okay, we'll go here, we'll go here, we'll do this, do this. Okay, so everything is here. So I just need to associate my items here. Specifically, I need to put this here, I guess. I'll put this here. Uh, also, I'll put this here. I'm just I'm about to use it, but that's fine. Why did I not sell this? Because I got distracted by the friend request. <laughs> by the random friend request. Okay. While we're here, might as well open this. Acquire, um... Acquire some more scrolls, which is always good. We also want to acquire... We also got some potions, which is always dandy. I'll, I'll put this here just so I don't... So I remember to not sell it. And I think we are done from here. So yeah. So now we have a quest to, to go to the clock tower, but that will require a group. And I'm going to do that. But first, I think... If I'm not mistaken, I want to go and talk to, um, what's his name? Sergeant Thingy? Sergeant D S Sergeant Knox? Uh, on your door? So that I can actually acquire, um, some, uh, so I can acquire some, uh, missions, which I, if I rem recall correctly, will give me some stuff, including being able to invoke, I believe? And after I've completed all of that, I might uh, start the next mission, which is the um, the clock tower. Now, I don't know if that's going to be a one-episode thing. So, hmm. How do I do this? So, how do I manage that? Because cl because the clock tower is a group which require a group. So, it's a dungeon. Essentially, it is your ba it's, a, it's your typical dungeon. If you are familiar with Warcraft, then you will know exactly what a dungeon is. And dungeons do take a lot of time. They take at least 20 to 25 minutes, depending on the group that you're in. Um, and that's, you know, that's just the, the small dungeons now. And also depends on, you know, who you, you drop in with. Hopefully, I'll join with people who are at my level, and not people who are like 70 level. Because there is a cases where level 70s and stuff will actually join the dungeon, just because they can. And it kind of gets boring, there's nothing interesting about it. I mean, sure, yeah, they just kill everything and wreck everything and that's about it, but... It doesn't, you know... I don't know if uh, if a higher level player uh, kills all the enemies and we're just nearby, will we take... Will we gain the level without actually doing anything? I mean, it, it would be fair to not. That way, you know... I mean, I don't know, I don't know. Dark Galadriel? This guy's name is Dark Galadriel. <laughs> okay. Protectors on play. Need your help. So... Troubling the Hope thingy. The tower, there we go. We'll complete that. Going once, going Powerful twice. Move. Visit the own... Uh, yeah, thingy. A thingy. We have Troubled Times. That's our next quest. Which we'll do later. Uh, invoking the gods. That's invocations. See. Yes. So yeah, this will be perfect. Oh, and while I'm doing all of that, we might as well send our companion for training. It'll take 15 minutes to train, but that's okay. So what we're going to be doing now is first we're going to um, visit here, miss over here. Hello. So whenever you Hello. Invoke... Continue. So now we can invoke, and we'll we'll acquire a nice little supply of astral diamonds experience. Whatever those things are, the coins, and Invocation Blessing, which I have never really used. I've stockpiled so many of these things, you wouldn't believe it. 
So let's arrange our items over here. Crap, I forgot to equip this on my companion. Can I equip this while he's away? Oh, I can actually give him some stuff. There we go. So he gains maximum health, which is fine. I should have given him... I should have put it here. Uh, remove. This is where he needs it. More power. That's what he needs. And I can also equip uh, something, something on his neck. I completely forgot about equipping him with items. <laughs> Anyways. So uh, this is our first... Then we got to go for enchantments, where we learn about increasing our enchantments. I'm going to just take a small little... Um, shortcut <laughs> over here there we go we boink <laughs> you can't really die in here because you just keep getting health like uh, no, like there's no tomorrow so that's fine so all right here so what I'm actually thinking might as well acquire all this lore while I'm actually completing all these quests is after I complete them um, I'll do the dungeon, but I might just make a fresh episode when I'm doing the dungeon just in case it, it takes a lot longer than You know than I could All right, so refining enchantments, that's very easy for me um, Because I've already done that and I rem remember how to do that. So we manage enchantments. We go here. We refine Then we well, we choose this we add these two here that they have already added for us and now we press the square button to refine. It shows me the chance, and now we press square button again to upgrade. Will you do blah 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 blah? Yes. And now we wait, and it's always a successful one, because it's you know it shows you it's it's just the uh, thingy. We press square again to complete, and then again to close. And we can also equip it. Actually, before we equip it, I want to check where is it best placed. So it'll give me. It'll give me defense, deflection, and uh, life steal. Hang on a second. 16 defense. So it'll give me less defense that I already have, minus 10 defense. But actually, now that I think about it, you know what? The life steal is kind of useless, and I think I got that from the dark enchantment. But the defense is pretty good, so I might actually equip that on my uh, to replace the critical, which means that this is also kind of useful since I already have replaced the thingy with the thingy. So. This, I'll just put it here. This is getting a little, a little crowded over here with the potions and stuff. Um, so these are no longer useful. I can actually sell them. That's my thievery kit. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, I need to talk to this person to complete the quest. So much. Dun, dun, dun. And there we go. And now we just have to go to the uh, auction house where they teach you about auctioning. Loading. Loading. Any time now. There we go. I'm guessing there's a lot of people in the server, which is why it's taking a longer time to reload. Or maybe I'm, I'm changing instances because my instance got full. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, so here we go to the auction house. The auction house is right here. We go here. We talk to this person here. Welcome to the auction house. Uh, continue and bam. Ba so here we can um, we can like search for items that are actually like um, that you want to find. Here is your consignments if you want to do some stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add this and I'm gonna sell it for whatever is there there we go post item that's pretty much it so yeah I think I'll I'll, I'll, I'll leave the episode over here and uh, I might I might continue I might do I might uh, queue for the for the clock tower dungeon in the next episode uh, instead so yeah like thank you for watching and uh, I hope you join me in my next episode bye bye